Hi everybody, this is Shannon with Shannon Sweets. Thank you for joining me today on this card tutorial. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the Midwest and I'm thrilled that you could join me today. I want to bring you this cute, super adorable card from one of my favorite stamp sets, Shark Frenzy. This is a bundle and a must have if you like this stamp set because these dies are so much more than just outlines of the stamps. You get these bubbles and some, um, actually a couple bubbles in waves and a curve and even some little um, like seaweed type of stuff. So it is definitely a must have and look at these little fishes. So let's get started with this super cute, adorable card. I'm also using um, paper from the DSP in the mini catalog and an embossing folder from the annual catalog to uh, round out this card. So we're going to, let's go ahead and put our card base together using some basic gray five and a half by uh, eight and a half folded in half at four and a quarter. Um, if you got a bone folder, it makes it nice and crisp. Now I'm going to line the inside of my card with some basic white just so that, um, you know, people can write on it without having to worry about the messages getting lost so that's just going to go on the inside and then if you want to stamp some more fun stuff you can then i have this wonderful dsp um, from our mini catalog and it's part of another um, seaside so it's from sea and sand and here is the wonderful paper um, with that and this is going to be four by five and a quarter and this is just going to go on at the bottom and then we have two pieces um, a basic gray and another DSP and they are both two and a half by three and a half and we're just going to kind of stagger these guys and this one has been ran through um, the embossing folder and I don't know if you can see all that wonderful texture there and you can decide if you want the bumpy side up or the embossed side down we're going to go with the bumpy side up this time so this guy is going to go that way and then these like little sand dollars are going to go upright Then I have um, a large circle from our layering circles and that is going to put our stitch circle right there is going to fit on it so but we're going to stamp on it first. So we're going to take our large circle and in some basic gray ink we're going to stamp the large shark. So I'm just going to stamp that. And you can kind of, however you want to, I'm going to stamp it towards the top so that I can stamp my sentiment at the bottom of the circle. Okay, so I'm going to take, go ahead and take the sentiment, I love you. I think I'm going to send this to my grandson in Virginia. Right there. And I've already taken the hat and stamped it in Seaside Spray. And I'm just going to take my light Seaside Spray if you're very careful and you color very lightly, don't add a ton of ink because it will cause it to smear. You can color that. And then I'm going to play the dark flirty flamingo and color in the flower. Just like that. All right, I've already cut out my baby shark and use the dies to cut him out. Now, there is um, uh, fill-ins for these guys, so you can color them or you can stamp them. So I'm gonna take some seaside spray and do the baby shark first, and I'm going to just fill in, line him up, and 
and there you go. Now, for my um, mommy shark, I'm going to cover her up, but then I'm going to, all right, so we're going to fill her in, stamp her off once, and then we're going to fill her in so that she has a lighter tone. Just like that. All right, now we're good to put this on our layering circle. And um, this is going to go on some dimensionals. And I'm going to kind of go to the side here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some glue dots for my hat because it gives it just a tiny bit of dimension, but not a ton. So that's going to go right there. And then my baby shark is going to go on some dimensionals. And he's going to go right there on the mommy's tail. Then I'm going to take my Seaside Spray Ribbon. It's so shimmery and just makes this card pop. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around and tie a bow here at the top of the card. You love how you can never get a bow just right, like how you want to when you're filming a video. All right, then use your snips and and then I have these great, elegant, faceted gems. Love these guys. And I'm going to use them to add some glimmer. And let's see here. Just put them anywhere on your card that you think can use some extra shine. And let's add one over here by our sentiment. That is my card today. Now I have two, one for each of my grandsons. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial and I hope you'll keep watching for more great videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.